Okay, just a little bit more with this guy. Uh, if you slide the timeline, you can see that uh, the person who handed this off to me um, has animated it a little bit. So I just noticed that, and so I thought, well, I better try to fix at least one more thing here. So as I look at the leg, you can see that the upper thigh on the left leg is uh, folding. This thing's folding inside out a little bit. And so what I'm going to try to do is uh, just a little correction on that. I'm going to leave it up in this pos position here and uh, go into my skin modifier and edit my envelopes and uh, vertices is checked and the one that I want right now is for the spines. What I'm going to do is take some of these vertices and just apply them to the lower spine so that they don't bend quite so much in comparison with these others. See these are following the leg too much and I want more of a blend so what I'll do is get in a position where I can easily grab those vertices, get to the first spine bone, and uh, I'm going to use this, uh, I think this one's called fence or polygon, instead of window. This way I can just kind of click with different points and um, carefully grab just that um, section of the leg mesh and then I'll come up here to absolute effect and say that I want um, for the spine bone to affect this let's say 30 percent so I'll put in a 0.3 and you can see what that does and let's just see how it animates not too bad it's, it's better it's an improvement anyway and there's some other uh, vertices we need to get on the inside there but instead of that, let's just do a little bit more with this leg. Let's grab um, these vertices and say that for them we want uh, point 0.1 influence via the spine bone. So, comma 1, point 0.1. And maybe it should be even less. It's you know, again, it's a judgment call, but you can see that we can control these vertices that way. And, yeah, you know, this is something that takes a little bit of time, but hopefully it gives you some ideas on how to use the weight properties. And I think that the person who handed this off to me was using just envelopes. And so I showed you in the last section how you can uh, kind of nullify those envelopes and just go by vertices. And that's another way to handle this.